How did you become an artist? Um, I've always been an artist, ever since I was little, but I've been a professional artist for about 24 years. And um, I started, as soon as I graduated, I've been painting full time and um, started selling my work on an art and craft market in Jesmond Dean years ago. And then um, galleries represented me for a few years and now I've I work from my studio and sell directly from here. How would you describe your style? Um, I, I struggle to describe my style. I think that's for other people to choose as how to describe my work. For me, I just paint the only way in it that I know how. Um, I, I tend to paint a lot of seascapes and landscapes and uh, some people think they look very Batman because they, you know, it's got quite a dark nighttime nightscape quality, but I, I don't really I, I find it hard to sort of pigeonhole it into a particular category. I just paint how I know best. What inspires you all? Um, I suppose my location inspires my work mostly. Do you know, I, I'm living in Newcastle, and so Newcastle features heavily in my work. Uh, I did live up in Northumberland for a few years um, when my girls were little, and I must have been inspired by nature then or the landscape around Northumberland but most of the time it's just inspired by painting the seascape and uh, inspired by ideas that I get drawing my sketchbook. What techniques do you use? Um, do you mean what techniques to create the work or um, I suppose my first technique is, is working on a thumbnail sketch that's the integral bit I do lots of little doodles in my sketchbook tiny little ideas that I then turn into paintings. But the initial idea is the important bit because I can work out the composition really quick and roughly. And if it works in a tiny little biro drawing, then it's it's good enough for the painting. And it's it's quite a valuable method of doing it rather than getting halfway through a painting and realizing, oh, I've, I've made a slight error. I wish it was slightly to the right and that bridge wasn't there. But So that's the best method for me. But also what's, what's integral is uh, um, painting from memory, do you know, I much prefer to paint from how I remember a place rather than from a photo or from life. And that way I can play around with perspective and look down on a cityscape and just arrange a building how I want them to be rather than being forced into a composition too much. Why do you work in or have been inspired by the Usburn? Um, the Usburn is a great place to come and work. It's, uh, it's an odd cityscape location. It's an odd location in Newcastle, just because it's uh, it's so quiet, it's nice and, um, I suppose, escapist in some ways. It doesn't feel like a cityscape location. Um, there's lots of creative people around here. It's nice to walk through the, the woods and uh, nature. So it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's quite a valuable place to work. What advice would you give a future artist? Uh, just keep working, just keep painting. It's it's hard knowing when you're a young artist, you know, where you're going to end up. But the important thing is just to keep painting or, or sculpting or whatever you do. Keep creating. Who knows what art will be around in 10, 20 years. So just keep working and, and try and find, I suppose, a gap in the art market that suits your work and just plonk yourself in it and just keep doing it. Just follow your passion and keep, keep creating. What are the three key things for children to think about when creating art in your style? Um, I mentioned it before, the first important thing is composition. So uh, do I think it's important to do lots of drawings beforehand just to work out a real rough idea of what you want to do um, before you approach the painting. Um, so yeah, composition is important. Then I would say colour uh, for my work is quite important. I work a lot of colour, you know, I, I quite like bold colours, but it's important to not chuck every colour out of painting, otherwise it'll become sickly. It's, it's trying to find a balance between all the colours that you want to use. And third is contrast, particularly the nighttime ones, you know, it's important to get the balance right between light and dark. And, uh, and the nighttime ones, it's quite nice giving, a, uh, giving the impression of it glowing out of the canvas. So yeah, those are three. How did you become an artist? Well, I, I mean, originally when I was a child, I always drew. So I was just constantly drawing, sketching. I loved, like, that was my favourite thing to do. So I knew that I was always interested in art and drawing and that kind of thing. 
and then I went to um, college and did art at college and then and then I went to university and I did graphic design so that was kind of a, an element of, of uh, an area of art and then when I left university I came back home and started doing freelance work so I started doing some work for a magazine and drawing and, and, and illustrating kind of became the thing that I the area that I decided to go into so kind of basically since I was little <laughs> that's when I I started. How would you describe your style? My style? So I think my style is very colourful and um, ooh, maybe like energetic. So I quite like to kind of bring energy into it. And also I love playing with layers and textures and um, like experimenting. So I think it kind of in involves a lot of experimenting. What inspires you art? What inspires my art? Yeah. Oh, well, I think everything inspires it. That's the kind of short answer. But um, I love, oh, I'm really interested in design. So, like, I love things like um, furniture and I love, like, sort of the 1960s. That really inspires me, um, like, that sort of period of time. Um, nature, I, you know, I kind of look at nature and that's I find that quite inspiring. Um, but really, it's kind of like looking around every day and just things just taking taking my attention and then that can inform the work that I do. Um, so it's not I'm not really kind of one theme. Uh, I'm not really kind of in, uh, inspired by one theme, so to speak. And because of the nature of my illustration, I kind of have to kind of learn about lots of different themes. So in some ways, it's, it is like everything, which is exciting. What techniques do you use? So I use quite a lot of different techniques, but um, I'm a printmaker as well. So I like to do screen printing. So you'll see that like quite a bit of my work involves screen printing. Um, I also really like collage. So I like mixing um, lots of things. I, I'm a bit of a paper collector. So I've got lots of bits of paper all over my studio. And I like using those bits to kind of in, inform my pieces of work and cutting them up and putting them together. But I like mixing that with line drawings and inks. So I like to kind of play around with lots of different materials. Why do you work in or have been inspired by the ooze pen? Ah, so that's an interesting question because I actually grew up, my family business was in the ooze burn. So when I was a kid, I actually spent a lot of time in the ooze burn um, with, in the building that's like right in the centre of the ooze burn. And then... Um, so I've always loved it and, and I actually live in Heaton so I don't live very far away and it's a brilliant walk to work um, and it's just it's a great place to be for someone creative because there's so much creativity in the Oosburn. It's like bursting with like lots of in, incredible creative people doing lots of lovely things so I, I really wanted to be part of that as well so that's why I'm here. What, av what advice would you give to the future artists? Oh, that's a good question. So my advice would be to always kind of think about what inspires you personally um, and just feel confident in, in following the things that interest you and, and your techniques and having kind of that, that idea of experimenting with, with what you like and, and using that as your kind of inspiration. But I, you know, I think just keep drawing. That's another thing. Um, if you're interested in art and and you want to kind of think about that as as something that you want to do, just always draw. Have a sketchbook or have some paper, and just always kind of just keep going with it. What are the three key things for children to think about when they when about when creating art in your style? Right. So I have had a little think about. That and I was thinking, one thing that I would say is be colourful because I think colour is a really big part of what I love and what I'm inspired by. Um, I also think that for me, I really love just being quite free with when I'm making my art. So I think don't worry about neatness or being perfect because I think sometimes the best art can be something that's maybe got something that you didn't intend to do and you've changed it up and 
almost just like yeah not not thinking about neatness or perfection but just being like very creative and experimental and then the last thing that i've written down is have fun because i think if you have fun with your art you can see it you can see it in the art so if you do those things i think that's going to have like a bit of a sense of my kind of art in there how did you become an artist uh, how did i become an artist i've always been an artist i suppose i just now make my living out of it which is which is nice but uh yeah I've, I've always drawn ever since i was a kid so i just carried on carried on doing it and now thankfully i'm getting paid for it which is nice how would you describe your style? Uh, I describe my style as architectural drawings or drawings of buildings, the places where you know people meet up and live and work and so on. And, uh, and I do those in a, a pen and ink style, so in a, using a pen and a pencil. What inspires your art? Uh, well, the buildings themselves, and the like. I say the the are they are the places where we where we live our day-to-day -day lives you know so the the buildings are always going to be there they're going to be there for hundreds of years they've been there for hundreds of years previously in some cases uh, so i like that i like that element of buildings and architecture. what techniques do you use techniques so it's all pen and pencil generally and then for the um for the color i use photoshop so i use digital colors for the for the background so i draw everything out in pencil first Go over it in pen, go over it again in pen, go over it again in pen. Uh, you build up layers like you do still, like you do with paints. You start paints and you, you build layer upon layer upon layer. You can still do that with a pen, you just can't make as, as many mistakes. Um, why do you work or have been inspired by the Usburn? Uh, well, I used to have a studio in the Usburn, so that's where I sort of started and I started drawing pubs of the Usburn. <laughs> Was one of my uh, was one of my first things because they are again buildings where people meet up and in fact me and my wife had our first date in the Queenie in, in the Usburn so 12 years ago but uh yeah so the Usburn's always played a big part in my artistic life and, and life in general. What advice would you give a future artist? Keep on drawing just do what you love just draw and paint and just keep on doing it there's there's, there's no advice really uh, as opposed to You've just got to do the work you know if you really enjoy it and you really love it then you'll just do it naturally you know if i wasn't doing it as a job now i'll be doing it after my normal job you know so it's uh it's just something that's in you that you love doing so keep at it what are the three key things for children to think about when creating art in your style mm, that's a good question uh, i would say for my style particularly it's quite detailed stuff so I would say, uh, look at the details of buildings. Look at the you know every doorway and every window and every uh, every part of a building has unique little details to them in the same way that a face does. Uh, so constant look at really look at the details, try and get the proportions right. I'd say that's one thing. I'd say the second thing is do an underdrawing. So like do a drawing in pencil lightly first. And get all the proportions and stuff right and then go into it with a pen and work in the details in the pen um, and i'd say the third thing is don't chew your pens because that's what i do i nearly lost a tooth 